First up, obviously the first day's out of the way. Do you have any idea yet on what the visitor numbers were for yesterday? Well, all I know at this moment in time is that we were definitely up. The visitors were streaming in, the aisles were busy, and in percentage terms, we don't know 100% because of deduping, but we know we were absolutely up. And I think that was reflected in the busyness that was going on the floor show floor yesterday. So I understand Europe's remained broadly the same this year in the number of exhibitors as last year. Was that a surprise given the ongoing Euro crisis? Well, what I think is really interesting about what we see here at World Travel Market is that it does reflect the trends that are going on in a more global economic basis. So the fact that Europe has managed to stay plateaued is actually, given the crisis, a real strong strength of what's going on in the tourism industry at this moment in time. What we've seen in relation to the Middle East is, yes, a downturn, and I think that reflects some of the instability that's going on in that region. But then when you also look at what's happened in Africa, we've seen a downturn there also because there are fewer UK tourists going into Africa. The difference with exchange rates is making that more difficult for people. But what's really encouraging is the growth that we are seeing coming out of both Asia and South America. And I think that reflects the strength of the emerging economies and how they are looking to use the travel and tourism industry as one to build their economic um, growth and certainty for the future. And I think that's really good for the travel and tourism industry. And is that forming a definite part of the strategy now for WTM when you're going out to drum up business, looking at these places and saying these are the go-getters of the future? Well, I think when we're looking to build and develop world travel market, we have to reflect what's happening in the market. And our event absolutely does that. So it's great when we can bring in new players. And you're one of the great new exhibitors here at World Travel Market this year is, is Libya exhibiting for the first time. Now we wouldn't have seen Libya and we didn't see Libya here last year but now that the regime has changed and the doors are opening to tourism then the potential of new destinations to come on board and showcase themselves on a global stage like World Travel Market is really important to building their travel and tourism appeal. And we've seen destinations do that in the past. You know, 30 years ago, we wouldn't have expected Cambodia or Vietnam to be, be tourism destinations. And they are real hotspots now. And the same now applies for Croatia. Great. And the events program has also been very busy, a lot of business sessions. Are you noticing any themes beginning to emerge this year or concerns that the industry has? Well, what I think it comes out of the events programme is key focuses on key important sectors of the industry. So we have dedicated programme related to the airlines and the hotel sector. But what's been particularly pertinent this year is the strengthening of our sports tourism programme. And this inevitably falls off the back of us hosting the 2012 Olympics. We're all wanting to learn the lessons as a travel and tourism industry from the Olympics. It did have an impact on the trade and on business. And it's looking at what the legacy holds for the future. And you know, Brazil is going to be hosting the next Olympics. So there are ways in events like World Travel Market that destinations and countries can learn from one another and use that to end up building their, their, their own activity in the coming, coming years till they lead to the event. And of course, the Tuesday is Minister's Summit Day, the all-important Minister's Summit. That's happened this morning. I know you were there. Can you tell us a little bit about what went on? Yes, we had a fascinating debate and discussion, actually. We've had over 90 ministers um, attend the ministerial summit, but it's also about bringing ministers together with very senior level private sector and are discussing key issues that are potentially barriers to growth and expansion for the industry. So the session was open borders, open skies. It was looking at how do we end up facilitating better visa procedures moving forward, um, looking at the impact that technology will have on that um, and also looking at issues surrounding taxation. I think the most interesting, it was very, very dynamic. There was a lot of engagement from ministers with insights from all over the world. Um, I think the most important thing was that there was a recognition that yes, the easing up of visa procedures was absolutely key to the growth and development of, of tourism and facilitating tourists going into destinations, but it's also about getting that balance with homeland security 
and I think there is a recognition that technology will be a big enabler and enhancer of that process. So I find it a very engaging and very, very practical debate and I think it's something that will continue beyond world travel market and I think we will see changes and developments as the industry works together to achieve that. And obviously you're at the centre of these conversations and then walking out and about on the floor, how are people beginning to feel about 2013? What's the feeling there, Fiona? Well, I actually think, and I wasn't sure until um, we started running World Travel Market, to be honest, but I genuinely have got a sense from yesterday and the start of today that there is actually a real sense of, of optimism. You know, I said at the beginning of my address at World Travel Market's opening ceremony yesterday that, you know, the industry's been through a really, really tough year, and I genuinely do believe that. But what's really nice is seeing everybody come together here now and they are looking to the future, they are looking to new opportunities, they are exploring those opportunities. And so I think, yes, I'm hoping that everybody will walk away from World Travel Market with a more optimistic outlook and a building brick for 2013 and beyond.